like him too He my man, he my boo, he my type He's so cute, I want him and I want him too I like him, like him too He my man, he my boo, he my type He's so cute, I want him and I want him too Hop in the whip, hop in the truck I do whatever the fuck that I want I'm not a hoe, I'm not a slut I like the fuck and I sure like the suck I am that bold, crazy like ice I'm not a wife, so talk to me nice You ain't my type How I shaved a minute off of my mile in one day. Hey beginner runners, I want to give you a tip to help that nagging pain that you can sometimes get right underneath your ribs that we call a side stitch to go away. So there's a lot of different theories for why runners will sometimes get this cramp. But let's get into the tactics that are going to help it go away. Now you might have been told things before like stretch it out, exhale, massage it out, or even walk it out. All of those things can definitely work, but I want to share with you the one thing that's worked for me every fucking time. As soon as it happens, slow up your pace a little bit and make sure you're engaging your diaphragm. Take a big deep breath in, <sighs> completely inflate your stomach, exhale hard. Now I always breathe in that pattern, but when I get a cramp or a side stitch, I'm even more intentional about it and I'll breathe like that until it goes away. Here's a look at it again. Hello everyone, so I wanted to give you some tips for breathing when running. Something that I do is the two-step breathing technique. So you do one step, two step, breathe in. One step, two step, breathe out. And that will really supply your muscles with oxygen and it will almost put you in a meditative state and just make your breathing so much more relaxed when you're working hard. <laughs> Girl, I wanna be more than a friend to ya It was like food for all of my senses Our time priceless, no expenses Like water to all them dry trenches She had a theme song for her every entrance We had a dinner and a movie Fire up the doobie Grace five foot, this girl school closer to me I call her babe, she call me boogie Her beauty intelligence really moves me Nice to nice to know ya, let's do it again How we did it on our Are you attempting to run the longest you've ever run today? I want to give you some advice before you get out there. One of my clients called me this morning. She was five and a half miles in to running seven miles. And she's like, I don't think I can do this. My legs are heavy. This is so hard. So I told her, all you have left is a half a mile. She's like, what are you talking about? I've got another mile and a half. And I was like, yeah, I know. But this is a mental sport. What's the story you're going to tell yourself right now? I want you to tell yourself that the next half mile is the rest of your run and then the next mile after that is your cool down. It's your reward for working so hard. Take it as slow as you need to go. So if you're about to run the furthest you've ever run today, take that first mile as your warm up and your last mile as your cool down. Everything in between is a distance you know you can already run.
With another running tip today. Today is about what to wear. So the rule I like to follow is if you go outside and you're comfortable with what you're wearing, you're gonna be too hot when you're running. I made the mistake today, even professional runners make mistakes. I wore long tights and it's really nice and gorgeous out and I was, wish I was wearing shorts. I was comfortable when I was in a tank top and tights and I just should have known. There's a billion people on this planet that you could bother, but for some reason you chose me. I wish I could give you the attention that you ordered, but I just don't have the energy. And maybe I'm the one that's being over dramatic, but I don't think so. I don't know for I put it up. Stuff in the kitchen. Let's go. Brand new Lamborghini, fuck a cop car With a pistol on my hip like I'm a cop yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever met a real nigga rock star? This ain't Pink Ferragamo sliders on deck Silly rap beef, just give me more checks My life is a movie, I'm never offset Me and my amigos, no, not offset Swiss, swish, all, I got them upset But my shooters, I make them dance like upset Swiss, swish, all, my haters is upset Cause I make them, they get much less You know where I go when we're dancing Handshakes in the Hamptons And getting drunk in the mansion with you And you look so classy Come through with that magic back with another running tip today. This one is about how to prepare for when it's hot out and running. So here's a couple tips and tricks to make those hot summer runs a little bit better. The first one is sunglasses. These are actually not even running sunglasses. They're Warby Parkers, but honestly having that sun protection, not even to squint will make your face relax, will make your run easier. The second tip is to drink a lot of water and hydrate. I'm doing this eight six challenge right now where I'm trying to drink a bottle of a uh, gallon of water a day. So that's four of these bad boys. So to try to drink at least a half of one before getting out for a run and adding some electrolyte tablets. The next one, which I don't have today is a hat, sunglasses thing, same thing. And the last one, super, super important is sunscreen. You want to make sure that your chest that's exposed, your shoulders. And then I like to put that zinc stuff on my nose that um, it's a little bit better for when you sweat. back with another running tip of the day. So you're in the middle of a workout and you start your chest is tightening up, your shoulders are rising. The thing to do, think about body check. A body check is what you just say to yourself. A key word you said, check my body. You shake out your arms, your shoulders are usually up tight, roll them back and down, bring your arms. If they're up here, bring them in. You're gonna go from 90 degrees. Hip to nose, hip to nose. Do you think body check in the middle of a workout? You'll be able to calm your body down. Open your lungs up. If you're up here, your lungs are all like, but you can open them up and then you'll have a better run. I do this in the middle of really hard workouts and it helps a ton. Back with another running tip of the day. This one is about form. A lot of you guys have asked. 
there's three tips for form. The first one is to stand up tall. So what I like to imagine is that there's a balloon string on the top of my head and it's pulling me up. So I'm keeping my neck back. You don't go like this or like this. I don't know what you do. But you're pretending like a balloon's at the top of your head. The second tip is to always remember to drop your arm carriage and bring your arms in. So you're going 90, 90, 90. You don't want them out here. You don't want them going side to side. You're trying to just keep that forward motion. The last tip is momentum. So what you want to think about is using that momentum of forward lean to drive your stride. You don't want to sit back in the bucket or do something weird. You just want to kind of have a little forward lean from your hips. And that's how you can improve your form. How do you get into a runner's high? First of all, I got so hyped when I read this question. It's a freaking amazing question. Thank you for asking it. Every runner and runner will tell you that they're always chasing it. It usually happens on those runs that you push yourself hard, but like not too hard. The kind of hard where you just like hit it and then like hit cruise control. It happens at races though too, when you're just crushing it and it almost feels kind of out of body. Stay consistent in your training and the next time it's a beautiful day and you kind of have that urge to go out there and run, go out, push yourself, that controlled push and see what happens. Now listen, you won't get this on every run, but once you've experienced it, you'll know it's real. Keep this mindset. There's no such thing as a bad day running. There'll be hard days, but if you're out there trying your best, you've got no reason but to show up. To all my beginner runners trying to increase their endurance and run longer, hang with me for the next 60 seconds. Number one, you gotta stay consistent with your training. So if that training schedule says four days a week, as long as you're safe, fueled, and hydrated, you gotta get out the door and get those runs in. And with that, build your mileage slowly. So for a lot of newbie runners, I actually increase by even less than 10% from week to week when I build their mileage. Number two, pump the brakes on your speed. Building endurance to run longer isn't a game of speed. It's about you being able to pace and control your speed and have more time on your legs. So if you feel breathless or like you need to walk, just slow the pace down. Oftentimes new runners will get kind of anxious when they feel breathless. Just slow the pace down and think about covering the distance instead of trying to finish it as fast as you can. It takes time, but you can do this. How do you start training for a 5K, 10K and beyond? Let's first acknowledge that every coach is gonna have a little bit different of a philosophy. There's a million ways to get this right. I'd like to share with you how I train my clients and what's worked for me. I like to start with eight to 12 weeks of building a base with shorter distances. Let's say you're starting at zero and you'd like to run your first 5K. I typically take the first eight weeks of your training and devote it to building a base and progressing you to 1.5 miles. From there, I take another eight weeks to progress you to 3.5 miles so that when you run your 5K, you do it with confidence. Train on non-consecutive days, don't increase your mileage by more than 10% from week to week, and remember to keep the pace slow. At this stage of the game, it's not about running fast, it's about covering the distance. And remember, you're not just going out for a run, you're building a new identity. This takes time, so give yourself some grace to be a beginner and enjoy the process. Thank you.